Hi, this is Dr. A, and this is a tutorial on bacterial shapes and arrangement. Round bacteria are called coccus, so it's singular, and cocci for the plural. Rod-shaped bacteria are called bacillus or bacilli for the plural, often actually also called rods. If the rods are really short, then they're called cocobacilli, and E. coli is an example of that. Sometimes the bacteria are club-shaped uh, bacilli. Some rods will have a comma shape, so a curve shape, and they are called vibrio, like vibrio cholera. If the bacteria is spiral shaped, they are called spirillum, and there's also some spirochetes that have a similar shape. Occasionally, the bacteria do not have a defined shape, and if the shape varies greatly, they are called pleomorphic. The most common shapes that you will uh, come across are going to be cocci and bacilli, and maybe cocobacilli. For our arrangements, cocci and bacilli can be arranged in chains and therefore will be called streptococci and streptobacilli, strepto meaning chain. The previous slide had streptococci, this slide has streptobacilli. You can see the rods in chains. Cocci can also be arranged in grape-like clusters and uh, those are called staphylococci, so staphylo for grape-like cluster. Cocci can also form pairs, and uh, they would be called then diplococci, diplo for two. Occasionally, uh, cocci will form tetrads, which are little packets of four, and we'll note that on the report. Uh, it's actually common with staph. Your bacilli, also called rods, are most often found in singlets, so they really don't have any particular arrangement. Occasionally, bacteria can, rods can arrange themselves in palisades, which look like fences instead of chains. <sighs> Um, so that's not seen very much, but it's possible. And lastly, sometimes you will see rods with endospores on the slide. This is typical of uh, Clostridium difficile, for example. Thank you for watching.